brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Bree and Jason, as soon as parent Catherine Akinenik heard the news that her son was the victim of a school fight last Friday, she began looking for answers. She found them in a viral video taken by a student who witnessed the event unfold. From when I saw the video, I couldn't watch all of it because it was just too disturbing for me. The video details the assault of Akinenik's 16-year-old son. I guess he was trying to shake hands with the person that wants to fight him for I don't know what reason. And the boy swung at him, so my son dodged his, dodged his hit. And the, when he got hit, it was his brother that hit him and knocked him to the ground. Before it ended, he was punched and kicked at least 10 times by two other male students, leaving him bruised, swollen, and with a hole in his lip. My son's okay. Thank God he's, you know, he can walk and he can talk and he's breathing. It could have been worse. It could have been more damage could have been done to him. And I hope it's a lesson learned. She's now asking students to stop the violence, asking them how they would feel if it was their sibling or loved one. I was students that are watching and coaching them, cheering them on is what really hurt me too. While there were no school aides present during the fight, Akinenik said she was pleased by DOE's response, adding she's been working closely with the school principal. I can forgive these kids because I don't harbor hate, you know? Maybe there's something going on in their home. I can't justify that. But I, I, I can forgive these kids for what they've done to my son, but I won't forget what happened to him. DOE Deputy Superintendent Erica Cruz confirmed that the incident was investigated and administrative action was taken. Bree and Jason, back to you. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.